Hi folks and welcome back to educator.com. Today we're going to do another mini lesson, this one on Newton's second law. So we're going to go through the first page of the A plus physics worksheet that you can download at the link here below. So take a shot at that and then we'll check out the answers. Starting with number one, we have a constant unbalanced force. All right, so that means we have a net force that's going to be equal to some constant value, not zero. It does exist. And it's applied to an object for a period of time. Which graph best represents the acceleration of the object is a function of time? Well, if F net is equal to a constant, net force is also equal to mass times acceleration. If mass doesn't change, then acceleration must be constant as well. So we're looking for the graph where we have a constant acceleration, and that obviously is right there, number four. Number two, the diagram shows a horizontal 12 Newton force being applied to two blocks A and B initially at rest on a horizontal frictionless surface. Block A has a mass of one kilogram and block B has a mass of two kilograms. Find the magnitude of the acceleration of block B. Well, the way I would do this is I look at this As a follow-on, when the index card is quickly pulled away the glass in the from the glass in the horizontal direction, the disc falls straight down. What is that action a result of? Well, that's a result of the object's inertia, its resistance to being accelerated. It's happy where it is. So you pull the index card out quickly, very little friction, the disc falls straight down. The same trick you've seen done probably with plates and silverware on a table. Let's take a look at one more. A student is standing in an elevator that is accelerating downward. All right, here's our elevator. There's our student. The elevator is accelerating downward. The force that the student exerts on the floor of the elevator must be. Well, we can do this one probably by common sense. Think about how you feel in an elevator as the elevator accelerates down below you. For a split second, don't you feel like you're a lot lighter? Your stomach actually may rise up in your, uh, 
in your innards for a minute and you feel a little queasy? Well, as that elevator is accelerating down, the normal force on the floor is actually less because as that's accelerating away, the, uh, yeah, you don't have to have as much force from the floor of the elevator on you. So the force that the student exerts on the floor of the elevator must be less than the weight of the student when at rest. You feel lighter for a moment. All right, that concludes page one of the worksheet on Newton's second law. If this went well for you, terrific. Move on to some of the AP level questions. And if it didn't, now would be a great time to go back and review the lesson on Newton's second law. Thanks so much for your time, everyone, and make it a great day.